Yo, yo, YouTube, what's crack a lack of Jack Smack and it's Wolf Man video. By the way, yes, I did in fact get tattoos. Got one on my shoulder right here. But that's besides the point, man. Just updating you guys on life a little bit. Mike Wing put up another tweet and uh people had a lot to say about this tweet, man. I don't know. Every time Mike Wing puts out a poll, I feel like it's just not good. It brings some type of disconformity within the community it, it, it pulls people apart makes people debate I mean debates good as long as it's like it's a healthy debate and it's you know as long as there's no shots or anything it's it's a good debate to have but you know I was looking at this thread and of, of people responding and replying in, in the poll and you see the poll on the screen right now it basically says what should have more influence over whether you make or miss shots open versus contested or good versus bad timing now you see what i chose i chose openness because i'm gonna give you the quick reasoning why i chose openness think of a playmaking shot creator my number one goal as a playmaking shot tr uh, creator if i'm trying to score is to get open you know why i'm trying to get open especially in the mid-range area i'm trying to get open because as soon as i get open in the mid-range area I could take a drifter or a standstill shot and most likely 80 to 90 percent of the time since i already know my release and i've been using the same release since 2k15 that's gonna go in especially with the badges i have so i'm not worried about timing the release i'm more focused on how am i going to get open and that's when when i play my locked on defender i don't really worry about other people's timing sometimes i worry about locking them up staying as close to them and making that shot very heavily contested. And you know, for Lockdown Defender, you have multiple Hall of Fame badges to use, multiple badges that brings down the opponent's badges and their attributes. So of course, as a Lockdown, you wanna be as closest to the, the offensive player as possible. So that's that's my two cents on both of those things. Uh, but you have to take into account, you see in this, some of this gameplay right here, you're gonna see me miss shots, open shots with my sharpshooter, Timing was pretty good, you know, timing was pretty good, but I took open shots, missed them both, and you know my sharpshooter, 99 open 3, 85 open mid, doesn't have all the badges, but he does have, I think, gold catch and shoot, and you know, stuff like that, so he's not a wimp, he has the badges, he has the shot, so it's like... See, this game, 2K18 is kind of inconsistent because you be opening for lockdown defender from three and then you bang two out of three of those in one game and yet I get wide open for pure sharpshooter. Got the badges, wide open, nobody's near me, take the shot, brick. And it's like, that's 2K18. But this poll was funny because it, it wasn't close. It's 56% to 44% as of right now. But that's still pretty close to people picking shot time. Now, you're going to see a couple of these tweets I'm going to put up on the screen right now. It's just hilarious. Now, Agent says timing. He already clarified, which is Mike Wang, that contested shots are not hitting in 19. Now, I'm not sure about that. I'm, I'm pretty sure that not all contested shots are going to go in. Obviously, depending on the badges you have and depending on who you're facing, if you're facing like a regular player or a lockdown, and maybe a small percent of heavily con of contested shots are going to go in. Like maybe a very, very small, maybe like 2%, 5% of contested shots will go in in 2K19. Which, honestly, it's fine. Because listen, in the NBA, it happens. You play great defense and the, and the nigga still makes a shot. So, it happens. As long as it's a small percentage, it's good. Now, the agent continues to, you got to separate the mind to me and play now, guys. But, uh, listen, I think... Everybody would agree that openness matters. Because think about it. When you're playing 2K, you're always trying to get open. When you play in the park and you play with these randoms, these some of these randoms don't understand contested shots aren't good shots. Taking shots anywhere on the court is not a good shot. Your first goal should be to get open. That's why you use screens. That's why you run plays. Is to get open. That's why whenever I play a freaking play now game or even back in the day when I used to play my team, I always ran the plays where I have my three-point shooter run across, you know, the lines and, and people all say all ball screens and my three-point shooters get open because I know that's a better shot for my shooters. 
it's a better shot for my team and it just opens the floor up so obviously to me and a lot of people you're going to see openness is a big deal and that should have the most influence man and a lot of people actually agree now the thing is you're going to see Bree say it should be both equally important which i agree too because listen depending on the build let's say you get open and you might be a pure playmaker if you get open as a pure playmaker you might have okay timing but since you're a pure playmaker that okay timing is going to make you miss a shot because you don't even have a great you know a shot in the first place same thing if you're a sharpshooter let's say you're a sharpshooter you get open and you make a very very late release you get a you shoot a very very late release listen if you miss a shot that's on you now if you're a sharpshooter and you get open and you have a very good release then yes that should go in a lot more frequently but if you're a sharpshooter you get open shoot a very very bad release no expect to actually miss that shot don't expect that shot to go in. So it should definitely be a combination of both. Otherwise, everyone's just running around and just pressing square and then it, it, it just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. People don't have to learn their shot. And that's the thing about openness, right? People need to learn the dribble moves. People need to learn plays. They need to know how to, you know, set screens and set off ball screens and get teammates open. And if you're the defense, people should know how to hedge, help off screens, know who to switch on even communicate on the mic if you even want to go to that point so openness is very important but it really should be a combination of both focusing more on openness now you're going to see another tweet uh this guy says reward good park players for getting themselves open and timing their shot correctly afterwards which is completely you know it makes sense nobody's going to get mad if they miss a half ball but if we keep getting slightly late full balls He's sucking his Xbox out of his control. I mean, it, make, it makes sense, man. Like, if you get a very, very slightly late, very, very slightly early, sharpshooter, wide open, you should expect to make a lot of those shots. You should. You really should. If you got the badges, you should expect to make a lot of those shots, man. I'm not saying everyone's got to be perfect, but if you're a pure playmaker on the other hand or another build that's not really a good shooter and you don't get good timing, you should expect to miss a huge amount of those shots, man. So that's why you should learn. Uh, also, in this thread, we saw a post from back in the day. I think it was October t uh, 21st last year. When Mike Wing actually put up a poll and said, should heavily contested shots be nerfed? And everybody just said no. I'm not sure how 2K18 was back uh, last year. It's a long time ago. But listen, man. The community be voting some stuff like this. And you see what happens, bro. It's, it's, uh, it's on us to make 2K19 right. And I don't know, man. These polls is, is kind of getting ridiculous, man. And even NBA 2K Labs agreed with Agent saying that timing takes more skill. Now, I don't agree with that. Like, timing does not take more. See, that's I think that's the main thing that people were trying to argue about. You know, rather than just, you know, openness being more important than timing. Of course, both of them are important. But timing would be, I mean... Getting open would be more important. But people are saying it takes more skill to time a shot than getting open. I, I just don't agree with that. That just doesn't make any sense. Because you could time the same. You could learn a shot in one day and time that same shot pretty good most of the time. But it's how you're going to get open. You know, what are you going to do to get open? You, you haven't reached that point yet. You know what I'm saying? You haven't reached that point to where you can use that release before you get open. You have to get open. You can't just be sitting there taking contested shots. You can take a contested shot and the release can still be good. It could still be a good release. So you have to get open. Because everyone's going to be timing the same shot. Everyone's going to be timing the same shot. There's going to be different defenses every time. Different archetypes of facing different defensive schemes you're facing it's all about how you get open so a lot of people were upset at some people on twitter you know the disagreeing with them and of course you see Swante's tweet right here you idiots do understand the timing focus uh 2k is why nba 2k 15 patch 4 was cancer and nba 2k 18 was so cancer all year being open should give you a noticeable boost compared to any form of contestant shot because getting open takes more skill and timing of release which is true 
I mean, if you can get open against a lockdown defender, kudos to you. And if you get a, if you time the shot, you know, very good, you deserve to make that shot, depending on what build you are, of course. So that's the main point. But if you are a player and you are taking a shot over a lockdown defender, and you make that shot, that's BS. That's literally there's so many times in 2K when people just make shots over lockdown defenders, and it's like, come on, bro. Like you have, you have, like I said, all these Hall of Fame badges. Defensive anchor. You already have a 9-9 shot contest, and they're still making the shot somehow. Like you just 2K bails a lot of people out in 2K18 by doing that. By allowing that to happen, 2K bails everybody out, and every time that happens, you're just ruining the other team's chances of winning the game. That's what you're doing. It, I mean, it takes literally no skill for that to happen. And, that's why I'm so glad that I'm hearing that they're fixing the snatchbacks. You know, they're removing some of the other stuff in the game. They're fixing the, the amount of dribbles, you know, stamina you have. Uh, but this is big right here, man. I mean, getting open is more important. Just think about it. Getting open is... Just imagine if shot timing were to be the only factor. You wouldn't, you wouldn't care about getting open, man. You wouldn't care about getting open. People would just be just focused on timing their shots. Which anybody can really, if you think about it, anybody can time a shot. But does everybody know how to do the dribble moves to get open? Shit, even I don't do the, you guys see my, you see my gameplay. Even I don't do all the dribble moves to get open. Even though I still find a way to get open. But I don't even do all the dribble moves to get open. So, that's way more important, man. But anyways, man, let me know just in the comment section. Uh, send me a tweet on Twitter. I'm out for now. Peace.